everyone! Welcome back. This video is going to be part three of my makeup collection declutter and it's going to be uh, my lip products and I have a whole drawer full of lip products so we're going to go ahead and go through those so let's get started. Okay so this here is what my drawer looks like now as you can see it's pretty full and it's actually overflowing there's products all underneath here so I'm going to go ahead and go through these. As you can see I have it kind of laid out. These are glosses kind of the thicker liquid type lipstick type things and these are the uh, lip pencil type chubby stick type things. Um, lip balms are over here, lip pencils. Over here are my um, lipsticks so I'll do those after I get some of these out of the way. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay I'm gonna start out with these here. These are Max Studio little mini glosses. Um, they all came in a set and here are the swatches. I don't ever really reach for these. Um, I don't wear a lot of glosses anyway, so um, I think I'm going to keep this one, which is the second one here. A pretty kind of pinky one. These are very shiny, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to um, go ahead and get rid of the rest of these. Okay, now I'm going to go over here. These are Milani Glitzy Glosses. Glitzy Glamour Gloss, it says. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. And let me go ahead and swatch these. Okay, and these I have the color Putting on the Glitz, which is this one. And I have Ladylike, which is this one. And then All About Me, which is this one. Um, the only one I probably will use is the first one. So I'm going to keep that one and get rid of these two. Okay, these two are ones that I got for Christmas. I got them in um, some of the sets that I got for Christmas. And this one is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lip Gloss in Disco Rose. I'm definitely keeping that. We're a pretty color. And then this one is the A Cosmetics um, Vitality Gloss Stain in Genesee Quad. It's just a real pretty light pink. So I'm going to keep both of those. Next I have these NYC Liquid Lip Shines. And I have them swatched in the order that they're laying there. Um... This first one is in the shade Nude York City. And I believe I'm going to keep all of these because they're just so pretty. And I like the formula and they smell good. The second one is Honey on the Hudson. Which is this one. And this was the first one. Real pretty nude. Third one, Big Apple Spice. That one, the middle. <laughs> The next one, Midtown Mulberry. And I believe I got all these at the Dollar Tree. This one is Wine and Dine. We're pretty wine color. So I'm keeping those. This next one is a NYC Expert Last Lip Lacquer in the shade Central Park Passion 204. And let's see what it looks like. Very pretty kind of mauvey pink. Real pretty. I don't remember if I like this formula or not, but it's the only one I have in this, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I haven't worn it that much. Next, I have these e.l.f. Extra Lip Glosses. Um, I really do like these. I love the formula. They smell good. Um, I have Scott, Michael, Mark, and Brett. This first one, Scott, is what I was wearing in the intro over a um, lipstick, so I really do like this one. Okay, next I have these Essence XXL Shine uh, lip glosses. And I got these on clearance at Target. The first one is in the shade Nude Kiss, which is right here. Really pretty. It has a little bit of glitter on it, but it doesn't really show up that much on the lips. I really do like these. And this one is in the shade True Love. Keeping those. Okay, I have three of the Milani lip glosses, and these don't even have a shade color on them, so I'm just going to swatch them. I know I don't think I've gotten a whole lot of use out of these, so I think I'm going to keep them. So these are the three colors here. These are pretty, um, pretty pigmented, and they have a really strong vanilla smell to them. I'm going to keep them. 
This next thing is from the balm. It's called Staniac in the shade Beauty Queen. And this was a sample that I got um, that came with my Christmas gift that my husband got me. And I haven't used this yet. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It's not very pigmented. It, is. it looks like it is, but when you kind of put it out, put it on you, it's kind of smeared away. I don't know. Um, it's like a gel, jelly looking formula inside. I'm going to keep it because I haven't really actually used it yet, so I'm going to keep it until I can get actually... I'm going to keep it until I can actually give it a try. I have one of these Rimmel London Show Off Lip Lacquers in the shade Galaxy. Very pretty color. I'm keeping that one. I have not gotten a whole lot of use out of that yet. I have this gloss here. It's from Maybelline. It just says Maybelline 240 Mirrored Plum. I don't even know what line it is from or anything, but there's Ladybug, sorry. Um, it's really pretty. I've had it a long time, and I don't really reach for it a whole lot, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think I've had it too long. I have three of the Milani Brilliant Shine lip glosses. These I got from on clearance at CVS. Okay, I have the shades Very, Very Tempting. My Tie and Pink Lady. And these are the three shades right here. Oops. And um, I don't think, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these because I never grabbed for these. And I know I'm not going to wear this one. This is My Tie. It's kind of an orange color. I know I won't wear that one. Um, this one, I think I have something similar maybe that I would probably end up using. Yeah, so these other two, this one's like a real bright pink, and then this one's like a dark kind of grape color almost. So um, I'm probably not going to use these. I don't really reach for them a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I think I like the formula, just not those shades. Okay, next I have some butter glosses from NYX. Um, let me go ahead and swatch these. This one is in the color tiramisu or however you say that <laughs> this is really pretty definitely like a pinky nude keeping that I think I'm gonna keep all these butter glosses I really do like these this is vanilla cream pie or pretty pink this next one is in the shade toasted marshmallow keeping that it's very pretty and then Devil's Food Cake. Similar to the Toasted Marshmallow, but a little bit darker. I don't know if I like that formula quite as much as that. And the last one is in the shade Red Velvet. Very pretty. Pinky red. Oh, right here. Red Velvet. I'm keeping all of those. Okay, I have four of these Milani Lip Intense Lip Colors. And these I purchased from the Dollar Tree. This one is in the shade Red Extreme. I'm keeping these. I have not had these that long. This one is Violet Addict. Very pretty violet purple. I don't wear this one a whole lot, but it's good to have an option like that. This one is like a hot pink, and it's Pink Rave. And this one is Fiery Coral. Pretty pretty. I hope these colors are coming off with the way the lighting is. So I'm keeping those. I have these Milani Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stains. And I have, see, two, four, six, eight of these. Okay, here are the colors of these. This is Cabaret Blend, it's the first one. Um, strawberry Sugar, Mango Tango, Pink Lemonade, um, Macaroon, Raspberry Tart. Creamy Cafe and Red Control. Um, I think the one I'm going to get rid of is this one, which is called Mango Tango. 
it is more of a coral color and I probably won't ever wear that so I'm going to get rid of that one but I believe I'm going to keep the rest because those look like something I would probably wear so keep those okay next I'm going to go over here this is a Milani lip flash in the shade in a flash got this Dollar Tree and I probably won't wear that so I'm going to get rid of that these four here uh, my husband brought these back from Japan for me um, these were from the uh, dollar store over in Japan <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to get rid of these but let me swatch them for you and they are just numbered I don't believe they have a color I think the color was on the actual outside packaging but I didn't keep that these are the colors and they're just like twist up kind of lipsticks And I have one, two, three, and four. So I'm keeping those. These two here are the birthday gifts from Sephora from last year. Um, they're just this one is the Velvet Matte Lip Color in Cruella. It's a really pretty red, berry red kind of color. This one here is the a satin lip pencil, and I'm not even gonna try to say that name, but it's real pretty, real pretty color. So keeping those. These two here are from Wet n Wild, the Fergie line. I believe they reformulated um, these and they're not called the Fergie line anymore. They're just called Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors. Um, I have the shade Plum Genou and Transcendence. And I really do like these, so I'm keeping these. Plum Genou Transcendence. These are the Wet n Wild Balm Stains. I believe they're all, yes, they're all Balm, balm Stains. Um, I do like these, so I'm keeping these. This one is in the shade Rico Mauve. Or Rico Mauve, however you want to say it. This one is in the shade... I don't know. Oh, it's on the bottom. <laughs> 2 a.m. Call Time. Now oh, that's, a, that's a purple there. <laughs> keeping that just because I don't have hardly anything like that so this one is in the shade Lady and the Vamp very pretty keeping that and this one is Ready or Not very pretty so I'm keeping those this one here is something I got from Target Clearance still have the sticker on it I don't want to take the sticker off sometimes because it just leaves a stickiness on it and I don't feel like getting the Google on to clean it off so <laughs> um, this one is L'Oreal 304 Ruby Opera I don't know what line it's from but it's just one of the liquid type things I like the brush looks like that very pretty very creamy keeping that this one is a Maybelline elixir in the shade Rose Redefined 090 and it has kind of like the same applicator as the other one a little bit more sheer, but it's a pretty color, a nude, nudie pink kind of color. Pretty. This one is new to me. It's a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in the shade Statement Nude. I really like this one. Kind of has the same style applicator. Very pretty. Darker than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to keep that. This here is a color changing lipstick that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I think it's grape scented, but I, of course I'm never going to use that, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, these here are Tarte products that I got in my Christmas set. These two are lip glosses. This one is in the shade Fearless. Pretty. Definitely keeping all of these. This one is in the shade Exposed. Okay, and these are the Lip Surgeons Lip Creams. And this one is in the shade, oh, Regal, it says on the front. <laughs> Pretty. This one is Decadence. Very similar. This one's a little bit more darker, deeper kind of color. These smell really good. 
They have like a minty smell to them. These are, this one is adorned. Or, yeah, adorned. Pretty. Keep it those. Let's see. Oh, here's some more glosses. This one is a Ella Girl lip paint in the shade Pin Up. I do like this. It's, well, it's kind of separating now. I've had it for a while. I'm going to get rid of that. I have other reds that I like, so. These are um, Jenna Hip Pout Polish Moisturizing Lip Glosses. Um, I've had these for at least over a year now. Um, so, and I don't really reach for them that much. So I think I'm going to go ahead and let these go. This one is a Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Color in the shade um, So Pearly Pink. And it's just one of those. It has the lip balm on the one side. And then you put the gloss on. Put the gloss on, let it dry, and then put the lip balm on throughout the day to kind of keep moisturized. Very pretty pink. I'm going to keep that. I don't think I have anything like this. This is a CoverGirl Outlast All Day Lip Color in the shade Canyon. And I believe I got this in a Walmart beauty box. Um, again, it's a two-part thing where you get the lip gloss, and then you got the color. Put the color on, let it dry. Okay, this is the color here. Canyon. I don't think I have a whole lot like this, so I'm going to keep this. And I have used this before, but I just like to keep it in the box to keep them together. Okay, next, let's see, we got two e.l.f. jumbo lipsticks in the shade. Oh, that just fell out. <laughs> I think I'll be getting rid of that one. Um, let's see if I, this is in the shade Movie Star. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, and it's, it's more pink than red, <laughs> so I think I'm just going to get rid of this one since it just kind of came apart on me. This one is in the shade Flirty and Girly, and I think I'm going to get rid of this one because it has a lot of glitter in it. I don't really like a lot of glitter on my lips, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is an e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Tea Rose. It's right there, and I, I'm going to keep that. This is a Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in the shade Vivacious 120. Got this, it was on clearance at CVS, I believe. Real pretty, bright, very bright pink. <laughs> Keeping that. This smells good too. These two are from LA Colors. This one is a LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil. Um, I don't think it has a shade on it, but it just looks like that. It's pretty, but I don't ever reach for this, so I think I'm going to get rid of that right there. And this one is in, this is the LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil, and this one is called Deep Red. The other one, the white one I got from the Dollar Tree, this one I got from Family Dollar, I believe. It's actually very similar to that other color. I think I might keep this one. This one feels smoother. That smells good too. <laughs> These three are the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. I have Fresh Papaya, Juicy Peach, and Sweet Watermelon. I know they come out with new colors. I don't know if they still have these colors or not. This is Sweet Watermelon. Right here, I'm running out of room here. Um, this one is Peachy Pink. Or a pretty nude color. And these smell really good. They smell like the fruit that they say they are. Fresh papaya. I love these. The only thing I don't like about them is that. So they get kind of, they're not quite the pencil form like they were. <laughs> they all smell really good though. Keeping those. Okay, these are the Bonnie Bell lip blushes. Okay, I swatched all these here. I don't know if you can see. You really can't see the three lighter ones. Um, I'm going to keep one of the lighter ones and get rid of the other two. I'm going to keep Serene Strawberry, because it smells the best to me. And this one is Peaceful Peach. I'm going to get rid of that. And Playful Pomegranate. I'm going to get rid of that, because I don't really need all those ones in that kind of look the same. Because I have other lip balms. Um, this one is Cheerful Cherry and Calming Vanilla Chai. And that's Cherry and the Vanilla Chai one. And they are different, so I'm going to keep those. They smell really good. This here is a Soft Lips 
tint. It's a lip conditioner, it says. SPF 15 in the shade Honey. I was pulling from the wrong end. That is the shade there. I'm going to keep this. It's actually very similar to that. Maybe a little bit lighter. So I think I'm going to get rid of this because I have those other ones too. So I'm going to get rid of that one. These three are the e.l.f. lip balm tints. I do like these. I haven't really used them in a while, but I do like them. This one here, Rosie Rocker, is a new one for me. I got this around Christmas time from Target. Okay, here are the three colors. I have, let's see, the first one, Berry. This one. This one's Rosie Rocker in the middle there. And then, Nude. This one here is Rosie Rocker, and this one is Nude. As you can see, the uh, Nude one is much more creamier. This one's more thicker. So I haven't used this one a whole lot on my lips. But I'm going to keep these because I do like them. I know I like these two that are older, these two here. So keeping those. This here is the Chap Ice Lip Treatment in Cocoa Butter. Um, I don't ever use this. So I'm going to get rid of that. These here are all my unopened ones. Um, these are all the baby lips I got from Dollar Tree. And then I have a lip seal. And then I have a, another cocoa butter in the dark chocolate mint flavored. I really like that. So I'm definitely keeping all these since they're not open. These here are all of my lip liners. Um, they're just Milani. I have a couple Essence ones I just got. Um... Rimmel ones. This is a CoverGirl one. I'm keeping all these. I have a little pencil there.